from the Ford Sports Desk, KOMU 8 Sports. Welcome to sports, everybody. I'm Chris Saunders. The Big 12 softball tournament begins tomorrow in Oklahoma City. The Missouri Tigers, though, won't play their first game until Saturday afternoon against Oklahoma State. Eighth-ranked Missouri is the defending Big 12 tournament champion. The Tigers won 50 games last season and advanced to the Women's College World Series this year. The Tigers have 44 wins, but they lost both games they played against Oklahoma State. Both of those games were played right here in Columbia. We didn't like that feeling. We didn't like, you know, getting swept at home against Oklahoma State. And, you know, I think we just had to refocus and say, listen, you know, we got to have our offense going. You know, that's it's crucial for our team. Go out there and swing the bats. And uh, I think we've got done a good job of that. Rock Ridge graduate Jordan Dressler is back playing basketball in Columbia. Dressler is the newest member of the Columbia College Cougars and scrimmaged with the Cougars two nights ago at the Southwell Complex. Last season, Dressler played NCAA Division I ball at Toledo, started 24 games for the Rockets, averaging six points and four boards as a freshman. He returns to his hometown with his transfer to Columbia College. Probably I want to be closer to home and uh, just the success Coach Burchard's had. He really hooked me with that and uh, just an opportunity to play in front of the hometown. He's a very physical player, but he's really skilled and and uh, he's got soft hands and um, he's got a lot of experience. You know, playing Division One basketball for a full year and and starting in Division One is uh, is something that we don't normally you know get to attract to Columbia College. On to baseball news now. Maybe some good news, maybe some bad news. The Cardinals, though, they've dropped five of their last seven games and failed to hit a home run in those seven games. Last night, the Redbirds hope to at least find the win column, if not their power against Houston. We'll pick it up in the bottom of the first. Scoreless at this point. Matt Holiday, though, singles to left. Skip Schumacher scores. Cards go up one zip at this point. We're now tied at one. Bases loaded for Houston. Jeff Kepinger, bases clearing double. Houston goes up at this point, 4-1 with the two score. Now advancing in the same inning, Lance Berkman homers to right off of Kyle Lowe's 6-1 Astros. The cards eventually fall in this one. The final score, 9-6. to The Royals and the Indians, and I'm thinking, maybe it was raining. I, I hope so. Top of the fifth inning, we'll pick up the action. Cleveland's Cabrera. He'll stand up here tall, a two-run single, uh, two-run Russell Brennan. Then we'll add a two-run homer, and that would put the score up to four at one point. That would be the final score. Royals apparently can't catch a break either. The final score in that one, four to zero. That's a big weekend here for Missouri. They've not only got the Big Ten, pardon me, Big Ten news, the Big 12 track and field championships right here in Columbia. So a lot of action there and then of course the big 12 softball championships so a lot going on for mizzou plus it's graduation weekend so we're going to be losing a few people that is true it is a busy busy weekend yep. never Lots a dull moment in going sports on. apparently not Thanks a lot. <laughs> let's take a live look out of missouri it's fulton 553 this is k